Hey, I'm Trevor Adams. I'm a product designer for Maya at Autodesk, and we've got some really exciting news that I'd like to share with you about Maya 2017. First and foremost, the most exciting news is the fact that Arnold is now the default renderer for Maya. Earlier this year, we joined forces with SolidAngle to get Arnold into Maya. It's fully integrated, so that means you've got the power of Maya at your hands with beautiful renderings coming from Arnold. So on the artist side, it's super easy to use. You can just jump right in, get some beautiful rendering, some really realistic shots straight out of the box. Of course, you can still plug in any third-party renderer into Maya. So you can understand why we're super excited seeing what kind of beautiful renderings our users are going to create out there with Arnold in Maya 2017. We've also got an extensive set of tools for the motion graphics designer in Maya 2017. And that's a long time coming. We started that work in the Maya 2016 Extension 1 release with introducing 3D type and SVG import. Going forward with the Extension 2 release, we introduced MASH, the set of tools designed by motion graphics designers for motion graphics designers. We think motion graphics designers are gonna love Maya 2017. And to get you started, you can jump onto Creative Market, grab a bunch of high quality presets, Play around with the tools and you'll see how easy and intuitive it is. Maya 2017 is a landmark release for animators. We improved performance for animators in a big way. We sped up interactive playback performance, rig manipulation, and we've added a new quick rig tool which allows you to rig characters in seconds. We also added a new shape authoring workflow with a ton of new features with the blend shape deformer that's been rewritten. It's GPU accelerated, it's got a ton of new features like tangent space targets. We've also added a new shape editor which allows you to work with all your targets in a very organized way. We have a new pose editor which allows you to work with pose-based deformations in Maya so you can sculpt directly on posed characters. And to cap it all off with the 2017 release, we have a brand new time editor and an improved graph editor. For the time editor, you can edit motion capture data like you're editing video. And with our new and improved graph editor, we know that animators spend their days and nights in this editor. And we want to make that experience as flawless as possible. So we revisited that editor, we made it faster, we made it cleaner, more elegant, so it's a lot more pleasant experience while you're animating in Maya. Now that we've wrapped up Maya 2017, we're looking to the future. How can we improve Maya? And the best way to get that information is from you. So you can go on to the Small Annoying Things Forum, the Ideas for Maya Forum. Those are two places where you can give us your ideas, socialize them, get votes on them, and we'll create the Maya that you want to use every day. And so we're super stoked because we know you're going to love Maya 2017. Thanks for watching.